pumping the brakes on intoxicated driving. The group encouraging safe rides home on the holiday weekend. And we have some fog out there. I'm going over what you need to know before you start driving. Mourning the loss of a mid-Missouri police officer. The crash that killed Felicia Carson and what's next for the suspect she was pursuing. Today in St. Louis, Weekend Edition starts right now. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. Wake up, wake up, St. Louis. Right now you're getting a live look at the Gateway Arch and right, gasp. Jack, yes. our producer, did say in our ear, we always get good shots at 6 a.m., but this may be one of the best. And you know, we're always surprised every Sunday. <laughs> what a way to welcome in our Sunday Funday. Good morning to you. It is Sunday, September 1st. I'm Travis Cummings. And I'm Mercedes McKay. Thanks so much for waking up with us on this Sunday morning. Tracy Henson is here with us today. Tracy, it's the Sunday of Labor Day. Is it a yeah. good day for people to be outside on the lake? Oh, yeah, it is perfect for Labor Day weekend. A lot of, you know, the pool, the lake, whatever activity. A lot of people put their boats away. If you've got one of those, those go away after Labor Day usually. Our current visibility, though, if you are going to be heading out to drive around, we have a lot of fog, especially along the Missouri River right now. So Washington and Chesterfield and St. Charles, all down to either zero visibility or about a quarter of a mile, which can be a little tricky and we're not used to driving in fog. A couple of tips for you. Make sure you don't use your high beams. That actually reflects back at you. Kind of a fun exper experiment. If there's fog in your driveway to try, you'll, you'll definitely notice that. And then also check your speed when you're driving through dense fog. Fog can actually give you the illusion that of slow motion, so you might be driving much faster than you think you are. Alrighty, right now it is 67 degrees. It does feel quite nice outside. Winds are out of the west at three miles per hour. Coming up, I'll outline our warm forecast today and the cooler seven day I have for you. All right, Tracy, thank you for that first look. Well, this morning, local law enforcement is encouraging everyone celebrating the holiday weekend to plan a safe ride home. Just two days ago, a deadly crash in St. Louis County left a young mother dead. Yeah, that's a heartbreaking story. Police arrested the driver on suspicion of driving while intoxicated. Our Amy Crawl met up with a local nonprofit that's working to end drunk driving. The crash happened around 2 a.m. Friday on westbound I-70 near Jennings Station Road. Latricia Robinson was on her way to work at the Coca-Cola plant in St. Charles County. Not long after, Latricia's aunt Rose Robinson had her world turned upside down. iPhones have this new things where they send out an SOS. I got the call. She's been in an accident um, and it shares your exact location. Try to call her, no answer. Missouri State Highway Patrol says a woman was driving the wrong way when her Chevrolet crashed into the driver's side of Latricia's car. The 32-year-old died at the scene. Investigators say the other driver, a 27-year-old woman from Madison, Illinois, suffered serious injuries and was arrested for DWI but hasn't been charged. I want to prosecute it to the fullest for taking my baby's life. Latricia had a 12-year-old son and two daughters, ages 15 and 8. National Ambassador for Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Sheila Lockwood, lost her son six years ago. This McHenry, Illinois single mom hugged her 23-year-old son, Austin, on June 8, 2018, telling him she loved him and to be safe, like so many mothers do, while helping a friend clean up a Wisconsin cabin. The next thing I know, uh, June 10th, on Sunday morning, two police officers came to my house at about 5 a.m., to tell me that Austin wasn't coming to home. He had been um, killed by a drunk driver uh, Sunday morning around 1 a.m. MSHP said last Labor Day weekend, one person was killed or injured on the roads every nine and a half minutes statewide. It's a horrible reality. Give yourself some grace and just take one day at a time. That's all you can do. Annie Crawl, five on your side. Missouri Highway Patrol says a total of 12 drivers have already been arrested for DWI in the St. Louis area this weekend. Their message for those hitting the road this holiday, don't become a statistic. We have new details this morning as police continue to investigate a deadly shooting in Bellfountain neighbors. It happened around 2.40 in the morning on Oran Drive. 
Police say three people, at least two of them juveniles, were checking parked cars when a man pointed a gun at them. The three ran back to their own car when the gunman opened fire. The driver, a male in his late teens, was killed. Investigators say Michael Tolden admitted to the shooting. He faces multiple charges, including first degree murder. This morning, the Osage Beach Police Department is mourning the loss of one of its officers. Officer Felicia Carson died during a Friday night police pursuit in rural Camden County. Highway Patrol says her car began to skid before crashing into a tree and catching fire. The speeding driver also crashed and was arrested. Prosecutors say a new state law that took effect this week may play a big part in this case. Valentine's Law specifically talks about fleeing from law enforcement and the potential consequences to a suspect who is charged, he or she becomes a defendant, and that can be up to the A felony, which is 10 to 30 years or life in prison, potentially. Carson worked for the department for a little over a year. She leaves behind a husband and six kids. The Missouri State Highway Patrol says the investigation is ongoing. And developing this morning, organizers for the Midwest Wing Fest are cleaning up after they had to shut down early last night. Fairview Heights police say several juveniles showed up unaccompanied and hopped the fence when they were denied entry. Officers say they arrested two people for fighting and pepper sprayed several others for noncompliance. No one else was injured in that incident.